Hey, I've got cucumbers. Some of our cucumbers are starting to struggle with the heat all over the garden. But these little um, silver slicer ones, they hold out the longest. Okay, so don't freak out. <laughs> If you clicked thinking, oh my gosh, what do you mean you're giving away all your green stocks? I thought you loved green stock. I bought a green stock because you like green stocks. I still love green stock. The kind folks at green stock contacted me. They saw one of my videos where I was planning on moving my green stock tower planters, of which I have four. And my plan was to move these to South Carolina and heavily rely on them for the food that I'm gonna grow this fall because we won't be breaking ground and starting on our bigger garden until the spring. And I was thinking, well, I'll just grow my green stalks, put up a couple of raised garden beds really quick, and I can grow pr plenty of fresh greens and kale and lettuce this winter, uh, this fall, as soon as we get there. And Greenstock messaged me and said, hey, we want to help you out with your move. We will gladly send you new Greenstock planters so that you have one less thing to move. And that was a big blessing because I didn't really want to just dump out the soil in these because I know it's good. Um, so I'm actually going to be kind of paying that blessing forward and taking my four Greenstock planters that I currently have here to my mom and giving them to her also you can see right here it's empty because we've just cleaned it out from the winter stuff that had all started to go to seed with our warm weather but this is the green stock leaf planter it has the more shallow uh, tier this is the seven tier leaf so it is almost the same height as the five tier original and the day that you are seeing this video the day that it's going to go live is the kickoff of Greenstock's annual sale where the leaf planter is going to be on sale. The five tier will be, I think, $99, and the seven tier is $129, and you can get an additional discount if you use my coupon code ROOTS10. I will also put a clip up of this thing in all its glory. Uh, whenever it was still cooler outside, you could actually grow leafy things. But this leaf planter is designed to grow things like um, chard, lettuce, kale, that's the things that I've grown in it. So it's more for things that don't have really intense root systems, things like green leafy vegetables, and you can really pack them in to these. You've got all these different pockets, and I was able to come out all through the spring uh, and pick salad after salad after salad out of my green stalk. And then when it started to get warmer, and I knew that they weren't gonna last a whole lot longer just because those, those kinds of plants do, do not thrive in hot Arkansas summers. Uh, we started to just pick the whole heads. We ate so much food from the green stalk and I love the fact that you can grow with it on a porch, you can grow with it in a neighborhood if you live in an apartment. I love to tell people turn your waiting room into a classroom. And this is one of my favorite tools to be able to do that. So I will put a link down below. My coupon code is ROOTS10. I will also put a link to the review video that I made some months ago, kind of telling you more about Greenstock and their company. But today, we are going to load all of these up. We're getting ready to go to South Carolina uh, for the next handful of days, getting ready to move. And we are loading these up, and I am taking four Greenstocks to my mom and giving them to her. So she's gonna be able to grow a lot more in her container garden. What do you think, Bear? You got a little something on you. Were you eating cucumbers? We're gonna do our best. Two of these are empty. Um, when I realized that I was not gonna be taking these with me, I just didn't even bother planting anything. We cleaned out the leaf one because all the stuff was spent. So when I get moved, I'm actually having my new green stalks and my new leaf green stalk shipped to our house because that's one less thing to move. We'll have it shipped straight to South Carolina. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and I'll probably start my plants from seed like mid to late August and transplant them into the green stalk by like the end of September would probably be my goal. They don't have to be super big. I mean, you could direct sow in there and just make sure that you're watering it regularly enough to keep the soil moist so that you get good germination. And where I'll be living, it's warm enough to grow that stuff outside with no cover all winter. And I will be able to harvest salads out of that thing all winter. Here in Arkansas, it would be warm enough to grow it uh, with no cover outside all winter. They do make like a frost fabric cover if you lived in a place that you wanted to extend the season and maybe add some warmth to it. 
And today I'm gonna do my best to move the planter. I have this one that has plants in it and I also have another one that has strawberry plants in it. Some of these plants are like cucumbers and nasturtiums and the hot weather has been causing them to struggle a little bit. But I'm gonna leave them there because my mom has a little more shade than I do. And I think that she might still get some harvest off these plants. I think they might kind of like perk back up because this is a very sunny spot in a shadier spot those plants might last a little longer so we're going to do our best to move these and the strawberries without damaging the plants that are in it i'm going to go inside actually and get maya to help me so we'll be back in just a second to load these things up in the truck can you grab this box right here in the corner grab that and we got to go put that in the car okay what is it we're in the truck it's for grandma it goes with her green help? stalks i'm giving her and you need help no, I got it. Okay. Why don't you open the door for him? Are you sure you got that? I'm not really feeling I, great about you walking down the steps with this I'll hat on like this. I'll take that off for you, then. Why don't you take the hat off and put it back on after you get down the steps so you can see? Thank you, Toby. You're welcome. Good job, Noah. Thanks, Jess. Noah's loading up the trailer with all the odds and ends junk. Oh, let's put it in the back of Daddy's truck. Come on. All right, I am out of breath. It's the middle of the day. So one little thing, I wasn't sure if Maya was gonna be home when I moved to these. I didn't know if I was gonna have to do it by myself. And I actually let them dry out a little bit. The plants are looking a little wilty. I think they'll snap back. Um, I just haven't watered them the last few days. And in this heat, that means the soil's fairly dry. Obviously, you don't wanna make a habit out of that. But um, if you do need to move your green stalks, at any point in time, they're a lot easier to move dry than wet because obviously really wet soil is a lot heavier and I wanted to be easier on myself so I let them dry out. Green stock delivery truck. Yes, green stock delivery truck. Blessed air conditioning. It's like 100 degrees outside. 38 Celsius for you. Fahrenheit. Outside it's, right it's, it's pretty close. It's definitely the feels like temperature is 100. It says it's 107. Surely it's not that hot outside. It's pro that's probably more like the feels like. Hey, mom. Hey, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Ben. <laughs> All right. You're gonna have a whole backyard full of green stalks now. I'm so glad, and I did sweep that a little, and I'm gonna scooch that one. We'll get the different bases for them out first. I've done a couple videos before showing my mom's backyard container garden. She has lots going on. Uh, she didn't have this much going on last time. <laughs> she keeps propagating. So. <laughs> She's got lots of plants back here. Let's go grab um, the bases and I, that new base. Ooh. Mom, you have a peach tomato. Yes, you gave it to me. <laughs> an, or an orange peach. It's got fuzzy skin. Yes, you want um, Ben's like, don't mind uh, if I do. You can eat it, Ben. It's the first one. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I should always give my first food away. <laughs> it's just like, Bite it. So yum. Yum. <laughs> is that good? Oh, it looks good. Oh, you look at the inside. <laughs> yeah, give mom a bite. Here, let me try it. Mmm. Good. You want to try it? There's or? more to come. I have more to come. <laughs> I don't know if I'm blog ready. <laughs> You're ready. Y'all, this is my Uncle Fred, my mom's brother. And he just walked up and Jeremiah Greatest said, oh. Greatest uncle ever. <laughs> he said, oh good, here comes the muscle. So <laughs> he got out here just in time to carry some plant yep. tears. I, I always show up at the, <laughs> at the right time. All right, so this is the new, I think it's called the Ultimate Spinner. And it's Ultimate their, spinner. yeah, it, they just they just came out with this. Brand they call, new product. They're, yeah, they, they um, are sending me new green stalks to give me something less to move. Everybody told me when I told, we started talking about moving, they're like, get rid of as much as you can. And I thought, we can move it all. And then we started packing. I was like, I should get rid of some stuff. Um, huh. Our newest invention. By this person. Oh, a mod. Thanks, a mod. Yeah. 
So this is the new ultimate spinner, okay? So wow. you Oh, you got two of them. Cool. Wow. So let's put one of those on this. So you get the wheels. So it's a spinner that so you turns can around. Roll it and then you can and additionally get the wheels, which they sent you some wheels. Wow. And so it rolls around and you can use other plants. You can use other stands with this. Right on. It, like any pods. Right, right. Like And then there's this okay here, this attaches. So it drains. So if you put it on like a deck or something, you can drain it off the deck. So the water catches uh, in here and yeah. drains off. It's okay. Hercules muscle. <laughs> If you're going to say that, you've got to do the clap, too. <laughs> Success! Yeah, it says wheel where they go. Alright, so six wheels goes on one spinner. Cool. Nice. Okay. Didn't know you were getting spinners, did you? <laughs> They're so cool. So mom has an extra base now because they sent her two of the spinners. So she's actually going to put a different pot on this. It doesn't have to be the green stalk. It's made yeah. for any pot. And I can turn it for the yeah, sun. Yeah, and drain, yeah. and it drains mm -hmm. off. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I love that. It was very sweet of them. To yeah. <laughs> That was I nice. mean, I'm like awesome. Um, yeah, awesome. So you need to work your mama love magic on these plants. I let them dry out a little bit to move these oh, and they need you some. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am hospital for plants. I know you Oh, are. look at this. Um, the wind blew it and broke it over and it was like totally hung over to the yeah. side. And oh, that's I thought, a well, it was sunflower. little. It was only about this high. And I thought, no, I'm not going to. So I took a clothespin and then I took my twine and wrapped the clothespin, made a splint right next to yeah. it. Yeah. But look what it did, a whole knuckle. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't look so grand, but it's it, it's grown. It yeah. was not even this tall when I did it. And it, it looks and like it's, it's about to bloom. Yeah, it's, getting it's got a little, little things coming off. So this was not here. These little buds were not here, so it's doing good. But yeah, I just put a clothespin and then twine it and it... it so, yep, it you are the plant hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For a long time, I would say that my mom's house was a plant rehab center and mine was a plant hospice because, <laughs> because mine was basically we would go to the clearance rack at the Lowe's and she would bring home like nearly dead plants and bring them back to life and I would bring home fully life plants to get them close to death. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna grow so much food in this little space. I'm gonna make you so proud. <laughs> I'm already food. proud. There's <laughs> gonna be a lot. We'll, yep. we'll, we will have to. And Fred, you're gonna eat it all, all the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was just showing me how she had some lettuce that was going to seed and she was gonna save the seed and asked, well, when do I plant those? So you can, I'm gonna use my leaf, which is the green stalk that has the shorter tiers. Yes. So one that's on sale this week. And that one is what I'm gonna grow all of my leafy things in. So I did that in the spring. That one was on my front porch of my, my um, It doesn't require the depth of the root. Right, I don't need so much depth. Okay. And like with tomatoes and peppers and stuff, you wanna put those in the deeper ones. Gotcha. But herbs, I was thinking I might do one with lots of herbs in it, and then one with lots of like salad type greens awesome. in it. Yeah. So yeah, but you could, you could start all of those like now, really. I will make sure that I bring my camera yeah. When I come visit mom next summer, so you guys can see the update oh, yes. on her little green stock patio garden. I guarantee to make Jessica proud. It, it is. Her, her green stock that she had last summer was pretty dang epic. Yeah. It was so full of stuff. So, um, yeah, she, I'm sure you'll make it look awesome. Thank you. Mr. Shum. Yeah. So, this is a variegated oregano. Yeah. You are, yeah. yeah. And then this is a variegated. <laughs> How could you not? Yeah. Yeah, that's basil. It started to go to seed. Uh, we'll just put him, him up because we aren't gonna yeah. let it go off yet. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for now. We've got this stuff done, and we've got to go home, pack up some stuff, and get on the road because we are going to South Carolina. Uh, for the next few days for some deliveries to be made to get some logistics in order to come back and fully move. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I bless you. Until next time.